surprise from General Motors today. The automaker is ready to roll out a new electric Corvette. It doesn't seem that surprising after we saw Ford roll out the Mustang, right? It marks the beginning of an important week for the future of the auto industry. Business editor Rod Maloney live in the newsroom with a look at what this means for car companies. Rod? Well, let's look at this. General Motors has been signaling it's going to go all electric throughout its entire lineup as soon as possible. So an electric Corvette was expected eventually. And last August, President Biden said that the White House, at the White House that he was promised the first drive-in one by Mary Barra, GM CEO. But today, General Motors President Mark Royce let the Corvette out of the bag, so to speak, on CNBC this morning. We are here today to tell you about an electrified Corvette that's coming first and then a fully electric Corvette after that. And Royce posted this video of that electrified Corvette on social media. He's being sly here. As impressive as this all looks, this car is not fully electric and won't be for a while. We will have an electrified Corvette next year. So this is coming very quick. And a fully electric one? More to come on that. Uh, we, we, we're not going to talk about everything here today, but, um, you know, very fast. You know, this is in addition to all of the, the great performance that Chevrolet and Corvette have been known for. And GM will launch its Z06 supercar this year, boasting the highest internal combustion engine horsepower on the market. But here's the key to the hybrid. Watch the front wheels. They spin first. And Guidehouse Insights auto analyst Sam Abel Samid says this tells us a lot. Well, what we're likely to get is a configuration, something very much like the Acura NSX, where you've got just electric power on the front wheels uh, and then a combination of the V8 and electrification on the rear wheels. Kyle Feltz is a Corvette enthusiast sitting on the National Council of Corvette Clubs and he's excited. There will always be the people who don't want it to change and then there will be people who are happy to see it change. I'm one in the other group and I'm happy to see electric becoming an option and I'm looking to see how, how, G, how far GM can take it. It's important to point out here that Ford is going to be hosting its big F-150 Lightning event tomorrow that I'm going to be at to show you just how competitive the market is. It's no coincidence that GM looked to jump to the head of the line today announcing the hybrid Corvette, knowing it was going to generate this kind of a story all across the country. Yeah, uh, forgive me for focusing on the aesthetics, Rod, but do you think the fully electric Corvette will look as cool as the one we just saw? Well, you know, uh, Mike Ramsey from uh, Gartner, uh, who is an auto analyst of mine, pointed out that when you consider that they use the sort of the skateboard design and that Corvette is a mid-engine, you don't need that mid-engine. So they have room to play around now <sighs> with the design. So when it becomes fully electric, it could be dramatically different. And you got to believe that General Motors is looking to really sleep that bad boy up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you got KG's fired up. <laughs> She's dying to get her hands on this thing. All right, Rod. Nice. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Rod. Uh, General Motors is holding a career fair through Wednesday for jobs at Factory Zero. How about this? Uh, Factory Zero uh, is the company's first, of course, all electric facility. It's located on the site of the former Detroit Hamtramck plant. So the company is hiring positions from entry level to skilled trades. Those looking to apply are encouraged to do so in person, but you can also apply online. They walk in, they'll end up meeting with an individual, having a kind of a preliminary discussion. They'll move right to an interview at that point. And then at that point, the goal is at the end is for those qualified candidates to extend them an offer, contingent offer today. Wow. Well, Wednesday, they say, is the last day for in-person interviews, and it's from 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m.